Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this morning? <laughs> it is Wednesday morning. I slept straight through the evening last night. It is 8.01 a.m. I'm wide awake and wanting to go to Cracker Barrel. I don't know why I'm craving Cracker Barrel this morning, but I texted Tanya Jean to see if she's up, to see if she wants to go. And um, she and I used to go to breakfast every once in a while back in the day. But I don't know if she's working this morning or not. I texted her, I said, you up? And she hasn't texted me back. So if she has to work this morning, I'm gonna see if um, maybe Sarah wants to go get breakfast somewhere. How are you guys doing? <clears throat> Did you stay up all night long watching the election stuff? My husband last night had CNN going and we were watching all the stuff and I don't know at what point I fell asleep. I just, at one point I was like just constantly scrolling through Twitter and watching everything going on and listening to all the stuff on CNN and then I was kind of like pulling Boo Radley and petting Boo Radley and the next thing I know, I like woke up and it was like 5.30 in the morning and everything was turned off and I had slept straight through the evening. And that was at like, we went to dinner last night. What time did we get back from dinner? Because we laid down like, when we got into the bedroom like right after dinner. What time did we go to dinner last night? even remember we went to dinner early because I was gonna go to Target and I was gonna go look at some sheet sets this whole sheet set thing has become this just major <laughs> fiasco because the sheets that I want they don't have and then I ask Alex about he loves the picture of the room that I sent him he's like I thought we were gonna try to like imitate that room and I said okay and then I asked him to pick out, um, I said, just pick out whatever nightstands you want and I'll order them. And then he said, well, there's this place in Fishers that a friend of his got a lot of furniture and apparently it's like, um, what's that place that's online that starts with a W? We got our patio furniture there. I was looking at nightstands on there. And, um, I slept in my contacts again last night, which is not, not great. This is what happens, is how I fall asleep in my contacts every night. Um, and I didn't take my medicine for my epilepsy last night either, so I just took it now. <clears throat> um, which I don't usually do, but I'm trying to keep a pretty regular schedule. This LaCroix that I'm drinking is not bad. This is the passion fruit. Um, but anyway, so he said that there's a store. That sun is so bright this morning. That there is a store in Fishers that is very similar to that online store. So we're going to go there, I guess, and look this weekend. But did I say that I ordered, I ordered the Buffy comforter and two pillows? And so I really want to get a duvet, com duvet cover. I'm thinking about just getting the Williams Sonoma one. I was thinking, well, and then there was another one that I found at uh, Pottery Barn that I really like, both of them. They're very similar. And I thought, I'll just get cheap sheets and then the duvet comforter and the shams I'll have every year that we can just use, you know, every year at Christmas time. So I'm thinking about doing that. But um, anyway, Yesterday, I stayed up all night long, you guys, and I got to, well, I drove by the church at like 5 a.m., and there were like three or four cars there. Oh, maybe more than that, maybe like 10 cars. And they were like, just kind of like straggling in. They were just kind of a couple people walking in. It's so hot in this car. So I, um, I like, I was like, I'll drive around one more time and then I'll get there at like 5.15, 5.20 
to vote. So I came up to Thornton's and I got a cup of coffee and I changed out of my sandals into my shoes because I knew it was gonna be cold and I was gonna have to stand outside. And so I got to the church at like 5.15 and um, by then it was like the line was all the way in front of the church and kind of to the side a little bit. There were probably, I would say 50 or 60 people ahead of me. Maybe not that many. <coughs> <coughs> well, the line went inside the church too. So I would say 50 or 60 people ahead of me. And um, I stood out there. I just listened to my audiobook. I actually listened to like four hours of my audiobook yesterday. And um, so I stood out there, and um, like right at six o'clock, the line started moving. I was in and out of voting in 15 minutes. I was out of there at 6.15, which was really nice. It was really quick. But then, I was supposed to go with Melissa or Sarah, like I was gonna meet Sarah in the morning, then her mom and her decided to go later. And I was supposed to go with Melissa later. So when I got home, Melissa texted me and she was like, how was it? And I said, it was, you know, like, I didn't have to wait that long or whatever. And then she went at like 12, 11 or 12. She and Sarah both went around the same time the same church and Sarah was like in and out in 15 minutes and Melissa said she was in and out in 13 minutes so <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered if I had stayed up all night long or not but I'm glad I did and in a weird kind of way it was kind of exciting to be part of all of that in the morning you know there were so many people there. Well, after I got in line, then like mass amounts of people started coming and the line like wrapped all the way into the woods and like around the church and stuff. It was crazy. So that was yesterday. And then... And then I went and got breakfast and um while I was eating my breakfast in my car at Hardee's, I watched, I didn't even finish it still, the last episode of Schitt's Creek, which is, the sun is so bright this morning. It's really pretty, I guess, but it's just bright. It's supposed to be nice today. Um, that last episode of Schitt's Creek called Warmest Regards Goodbye or something like that. And then I came home and I slept, and I slept until three o'clock, you guys. I slept so hard. Last night I slept hard too. I wonder how early Target is opened. Maybe I'll just go to Target right now, because I've been wanting to go to Target. I drive over in the direction of Target and see if they're open. interesting like watching all that stuff on the ele about the election on the news I especially having grown up with such politically charged parents I think I can remember when I was really young I can remember I think this would have been like I don't know who would have won God, I don't even remember because it would have been when I was really young because that would have been the election before my parents got separated. I remember my parents went to some election party and you had to make like all these guesses based on states and stuff like that. And they gave like actual trophies out. And I remember my dad like won all these things. But that was like back in the day, like it's so different now, you know, and 
I mean, I was thinking about that this morning because I was like looking at all this stuff and they're talking about like all the uncounted votes and that when will we actually know the outcome and all that kind of stuff. And I was thinking back about like, I remember like staying up. I don't even feel like it was that late of a night when like the Clintons won. Well, the Cl when I the Clintons, I said when the Clintons won, the killer. Cl but you know what I mean when Bill Clinton won president. And I can remember like staying up and them like playing the Fleetwood Mac song. And I don't feel like that was that late. I feel like it was like eleven or twelve. And. I feel like that kind of consistently with like the election. <laughs> but I do remember my mom like always staying up and <laughs> watching it and <laughs> smoking one cigarette after another. And being on the phone, talking to all of her friends, you know. Downtown Indianapolis, I actually did finally see pictures of this. They have like, <clears throat> they somebody tweeted it out. It's all boarded up downtown. Um, like all of the buildings are like boarded, like they're, like all of like the businesses downtown are like boarded up, like the first and second stories. Um, I guess because they're afraid of rioting you know, on the outcome of the election. I don't know, I was sitting there watching the news last night. Alex was asking me questions. I was telling him stuff about like, he was asking me how the electoral college works. And so he, he knows, but he was like, so why this? And I was explaining stuff to him. And I was like, it's weird. Like, I feel like I've known that stuff ever since. <laughs> like, I don't understand a lot to be honest with you about government. I remember taking government in high school and just being so completely clueless about it. But when it comes to like all that stuff, like the, the voting process and electoral college and all that kind of stuff, I feel like I really pretty much understand that. And I almost kind of feel like that's because I like grew up watching that or talking about it with my parents or something. Ow, darn it, that hurt. Um, anyway, did you guys stay up and watch it? I feel like we had like three devices going at once. It's overwhelming to watch, isn't it? It's a lot. <sighs> so I did that yesterday, I went and voted. I was pumped afterwards. I think it was just all part of being part of all of that, you know? And, um... Then I came home after I ate breakfast and I came home and I slept like three. And then I got up and I made uh, a drama video and I made a Peterisms video and I was going to make a review video and then it started getting late and I fed the dogs and then Alex came home and then that's when I was gonna, we sat there and talked a little bit. We were talking about like the duvet cover and all that kind of stuff. And we were talking about just some family stuff. And then I said I was gonna go to Target and then I, when I got home, that was at like 6.30. And I said, when I got home, so we must've gone to dinner about seven. I feel like I lay down about 9.30. Like I was like, we were like in bed about nine or 9.30. And so I probably fell asleep about 10-ish. So yeah, I did get some sleep last night. Nine hours of sleep, no wonder I'm so rested. Um, I mean, I woke up a couple times. Like, I woke up, like I said, at, like, five-something. And then <clears throat> I woke up again. And um, 
at like 6.30. But I was like, I'm just like at that point. I said, oh, I came in there. I was like, oh, I didn't vlog. I slept straight through the night. And I said, come on, Boo Rally, let's go back to bed. Because they, like, he, he, like, looks up. But Tucker always, like, gets up, like, whenever I, like, get up in the morning. Tanya's not texting me, so she must either be at work or not up. I don't have a problem going to eat at Cracker Barrel by myself. I kind of want some hash brown casserole. Is why I think that's why I was thinking of Cracker Barrel. I'd honestly go anywhere for breakfast right now. I haven't been to like out to eat for breakfast. Well, I mean, other than brunch on Sundays, but that's so late. But I haven't been out to eat like at a breakfast breakfast place in a long time. We went last night to eat to, we were gonna go to Puccini's because I was really feeling pasta. And we got to Puccini's and it said that their dining room was closed. They were only doing carry out and curbside service. So, which now I'm craving Puccini's again, so maybe we'll do that for dinner tonight. I feel like Alex might have dinner plans tonight. I don't know why I feel like that. Um, so we went to District Tap, which is right over there by us. And it was really weird, too. Like, they have all these TVs. Like, each table has a flat screen TV. And it was all turned to sports. And I said, don't you think it's weird that they don't have the election on? Like, I kind of, like, would like to watch what's going on with the election. And, um, like, every t TV they had on in the whole place was, like, sports. And different sports, too. Like, every channel was, like, something different to do with sports. So, it's kind of like a sports bar restaurant kind of place. But anyway... Um, so I had a wedge salad with no bacon, and then I had, um, like this pasta on fettuccine deal that was meatless, and Alex had chicken Madeira. Madeira? It looked really good. It was like, just like this chicken slices on top of like this tons of mashed potatoes. It looked really like, you know, like homey and heartfelt. It looked so good. And then, yeah, and that was it. And then we came home. Like, I, oh, I had said I was going to, like, run to Target. And I was going to um, look at, see what their sheet situation is like, even though I looked it up online. And they didn't really have a lot online. They actually had some really, like, cute ones that were, um, what do you call it? They're, like, they looked like little trucks that have like Christmas trees in the back of them. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like old, like old school, old timey, like, like pickup trucks that have like Christmas trees in the back of them. They were like little like designs on these flannel sheets and they were cute. But like I said, I showed them to Alex and Alex was like, yeah, I don't like, they look like it's like, you know, some kid's room or something. I said, yeah, I totally agree. Like, I really want like the, um, and they weren't either, which was, which was really funny. They weren't, they were like sheets for like an adult bed. But I really want, like, the plaid and all of that. I'm kind of surprised it's not easier to get that stuff. There's only, like, three places that actually have what I'm looking for. I'm kind of surprised it's not easier to find that stuff this time of year, you know? Going into Christmas. Anyway. Oh, so I left the house to go, and I got down the street, and I was at the stoplight, and I was, like, looking, and I realized I didn't have my phone. And then I was like, well, should I just go and come back without my phone? And then I was like, well, what if something happens or Alex needs me? And so, like, I turned around and I was like, well, just, let's just go to dinner now. So, when I got back to the house, I said, hey, let's just go to dinner now. So, he was like, okay. So, we went to uh, dinner and then we came home and that was that. The night before, when I stayed up all night long, I listened to uh, my, the fourth book in the Janet DeLeon Misfortune series. I listened to so much of it, you guys. I really needed to finish it last night, which was why I wanted to like stay up and vlog because today I should be starting the Sinatra Club by Sal Polisi because I have to finish it by Sunday and so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If I finished, if I started it today, Thursday, Friday, so I'm going to have to read two hours a day of it because it's like 12 hours long. Um, 
the next couple. Because Mel always picks the longest books for book club. <laughs> no, I'm totally joking. She does. It's not. That's not long. Um, I mean, 12, is a, 12 hours is not like the longest book in the world for a book club. Although this month our books are really, really short. <laughs> the J.C. Duggar books are like six hours long. Something like that. But anyway. Um, oh, look at the moon up there. It's so pretty. The night before I drove around and I listened to a bunch of it. And then when I was standing in line, I was listening to it too. But like I kept on getting distracted. And so I would rewind it and rewind it and rewind it. I don't know what just made me think of this, but do you guys remember the Mary Kay Cosmetics, like the pink Cadillacs, and like, then it changed, and it wasn't, was it, maybe it was always Cadillacs, but then they did like the Cadillac SUVs and stuff like that. Do you guys remember that, the pink ones? Have you sold enough? I'm really, really into that series. I love that series. It is so good. I could just listen to them straight through. I don't know how many total there are. I need to look and see. And I don't know if this series is done, like it's completed. She actually just started another series. Um, and it's more of like a magical series. And it's about this woman that was like a goddess from like Greece or something like that, but she doesn't know it and she just went and got, <laughs> she just like got divorced and all this kind of stuff. All of like the magical midlife ones are kind of like, like that where they're like 40 and they're going through this divorce and their children are like in college and places around here that I haven't tried. Then I think maybe it would just be easier to drive through somewhere. Nobody is apparently wanting to get up. Tanya Jean, that one goes out for you. She still hasn't texted me back yet. see so many like in the morning like so many like construction and landscaping people like, whenever I vlog around in the morning so many people like driving to work in the morning I've had so many friends of mine that worked like early early morning construction or landscaping a lot of my friends in recovery Can you guys believe it's November already? I mean, like, Thanksgiving's in a few weeks. It seems so strange to me. I feel like summer was just yesterday. Am I the only one that feels that way? Is Target open already? Oh my gosh, if Target is open already, I'm going inside. It can't be open already. open. Our store hours have, yep, they open at 7 a.m. I'm going in. Where is like the, 
the sheets and stuff. I think they're over here. Do you know what sounds really good as a cup of coffee all of a sudden? Oh look, I'm parking next to a car just like mine. Exactly like mine. The north side of Indianapolis is like filled with black SUVs. It's like all there is. I found a dollar bill yesterday next to uh, down in between my thing. Do you ever find money and you get real excited by that? All right, I'm gonna go run into Target and see what they have as far as like sheets and things like that. And um, then I will be back in just a little bit. Bye. Okay, I'm back. It's n it just turned at nine o'clock. I still have not heard from Tanya Jane. So I texted Sarah and she's not answering me. See, on the mornings that I want to go to breakfast, nobody is ever up and wanting to go to breakfast. And then later I'll say, well, I really wanted to go breakfast. Well, why didn't you call me or text me? Well, I did. And then the days that I sleep till noon, everybody goes to breakfast. Basically, what I'm saying is you should feel sorry for me. <laughs> um, I did a little too much shopping in there. Okay, they have this, Target has this whole new section. I don't know who the brand is, but it's like right when you walk in and it's like off the Christmas section. They're starting to put their Christmas stuff out there. And it's like, it's some brand and they have like bathroom stuff and kitchen stuff and it's so cute they have all these little signs that say things like brush your teeth and washroom and all this kind of stuff it's absolutely adorable um and i would love to buy it all up but our house doesn't look like what i want it to look like yet so um I ended up buying, well, I don't want to say, because I'm going to do a haul video on my review channel today and show everything I bought. Needless to say, I think I have enough room sprays now to last me a while. <laughs> so, there's this whole brand there, too, called, uh, in their bedding, called Casa Luna. And, um, it's really nice stuff. And they have, like, it's really like neutral colors. Like they have like a dark, dark gray that almost looks black. And then they have um, like a gray color, which I really wanted the gray duvet cover, but they didn't have it in a king size. And then they have white, which I would love for summer. But since we're far away from summer, I'm not gonna get any summer stuff right now. But their sheets and every other stuff is really expensive, but um, I thought maybe I would get that to go back and forth between like the Christmas stuff. They didn't have any. The Christmas flannel sheets, but I didn't like any of them. And then they had a duvet cover, but it was just like red and, like red and black checks. I didn't like, I think it was a duvet cover. I don't know, I didn't love it. But I got some fun stuff there. And I got a doormat for the holidays. We've had like the same doormat. Doormats are so cheap. I don't know why I don't buy them more often and get like and change them out. But like for our front door, I got a Christmas one. Um, we've had the same one for like the last five or six years. It says Bienvenidos on it. And uh, yeah, it's just like falling apart. So we needed a new one anyway, so I got a holiday one. The thing is when I see all the bedding stuff, like this Casa Luna have like, you know like the big, the big knit blankets? Oh my God, I want like a, a huge one to go across like one of my friends sent me one and it's so nice and it's kind of like a little throw for our living room and we love it. Um, I want like a huge one to go over our bed. But then I want the quilt and I want 
to come through. I want the whole bed to look, you know, like all magical. Like you can't wait to just like lay in bed. You know what I mean? Like, cause we love being in bed anyway. But then we throw all of like Tucker's toys in his little quilt on the end of it. So it doesn't even look so fancy, but it's like whatever, you know? It's comfy cozy. or something over there. <sighs> Today is definitely going to be a... Uh... Oh, somebody texted me. Who texted me? I can't see. I might have a breakfast date. Uh, Sarah. I wanted to see if you wanted to grab breakfast. I'm starving. She sometimes likes to go to cute places for breakfast. Like that one day that we went to the pool, she grabbed avocado toast. And that place that she went to get the avocado toast, they have, um, they have, what do you call it? Um, Really great pancakes there. I don't know what I'm hungry for though. I'd pretty much do just about anything at this point. She'll probably say that she's got something to do this morning. Sarah keeps a pretty tight schedule. She's always got things she's doing. But I'm gonna run this stuff by home and then if she does wanna get breakfast, then we'll go get breakfast and then if she doesn't, then I'm gonna go grab something myself. <laughs> and figure out what videos I'm gonna make for the day. What videos? And then I have got to finish this Misfortune book today so that I can start the Sal Polisi book. I need to look and see how long that book is. Is it Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Well, I listened to it at two times speed. So it's 12, I know it's 12 hours, but it's at, if it's, it could be closer to like 12 hours or 45 minutes or something like that. And if it is, the thing is, it sounds like it's not like hard, like it wouldn't be hard to listen to two hours of a book a day. But the reality is when you're like, it's like hard to straight, just like drive around or sit and just listen to two hours of a book a day. It really is. Unless you're like really, really into a book. Like the other night, like I listened to that Misfortune series and I'm listening to it at, <clears throat> they speak, the narrator is so, speaks so slow that I listen to it at 2.5 times speed and I have like no problem listening to it at that speed. Like comfortably listening to it and like really understanding what's going on and stuff. What is smoking out of that thing? It's so weird. Did she text me back? She didn't text me back. She's probably taking her puppy dog out. Sarah makes her own dog food. Alex and I were talking about that last night. And I was like, what, and I knew she did, but I, like, she had mentioned it once in passing, so Alex had stopped by there on his way home, and I said, what was she doing? And he was like, she was making dog food. And I was like, what does she put in, like, her dog food? And he was like, all kinds of stuff, like, she, uh, like, cuts up real fine, like, broccoli, and then peas, I think it was broccoli, he said, don't hold me to that, I don't know, but, like, peas, and other stuff, and, like, chicken. And I said, maybe we should make homemade dog food for Boo and Tucker. And he said, if you want to do that, go right ahead. Meaning that he is not going to do that. And I said, you know, like when PP got sick, 
at first, we would give him chicken and rice, you know, every once in a while. <clears throat> when he would snub his food, because when he started that kidney dis kidney food, when he got kidney disease, he wouldn't eat his food. He hated that food. And so, um, every once in a while when he wouldn't eat, we would give him chicken and rice. But we wouldn't mix anything else in that. We would just give him chicken and rice because it would only be for, like for a day or two. Although there was a per there was a long period where he was ch eating just chicken and rice, wasn't there? Because we couldn't get him to eat anything else. I don't know, she texted me back. I can't see if she texted me. Um, and every once in a while we would give Boo and Tucker chicken and rice too. Like I think during that time we were giving them chicken and rice too. And then the vet said that she didn't want him just on chicken and rice. Like he had to have other stuff in there as well. And um, so we stopped that and tried to get him back to eating the kidney food. And then towards the end she was like, I don't, I just want him to eat. I don't care what he eats. The little guy would not eat at all. And she was like, but I don't care what it is, just anything. And um, so, what was I gonna say? So yeah, so, um, but I was thinking last night, like Boo and Tucker haven't had like a little treat of chicken and rice in quite some time, you know? They might want some chicken and rice. You couldn't find that limoncello stuff this summer and now it's everywhere. I was gonna buy a, a case of it today for me and a case for Sarah and I totally forgot when I was leaving the store. But I decided that if my new comforter comes today and the pillows, that I'm gonna go and I'm going to go to Target and I'm gonna get some kind of duvet cover not like the most expensive one in the world, but some kind of duvet cover with uh, sheets and surprise Alex and have the bed like real nice today when he comes home. I thought that would be real nice to do. today. It's already She's asking me who won. Stuff up. If we're gonna actually go out to eat, I might like to put on maybe a sweatshirt that looks a little bit nicer than this. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, oh, I have a sweatshirt in the back of my car. I have my that Ralph Lauren sweatshirt. Maybe, uh, a nice, a real nice black t shirt, you know, or something like that because <laughs> I'm so fancy. Fancy is, fancy does. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. <laughs> Oh man. I need to stop by the post office, but I'm not gonna go right now. Well, listen you guys, I'm gonna get off here. So I don't I just don't really have a whole lot to say today. I kind of feel like, do you ever just like get up? Like I'm like so like la da 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 da. I'm like so just kind of like feel like good this morning because I got so much sleep. I do want to do my meditations and stuff when I get home. I didn't do that before I left because I was just like trying to get my vlog done. But um 
Do you ever just feel kind of like a little like like brain dead? Like you just don't even have really like much to say. And people are that. Those are the days that people are always like, "What's wrong with you?" And I'm like, "Nothing." And they're like, "Are you upset?" And I'm like, "No." I'm like actually in a really good mood. And they're like, "You seem upset." And I'm like, "No, I'm in a good mood. I just don't really have a lot to say." So since I don't have a lot to say, I'm gonna get off here now. And um, I'm going to go listen to my audiobook and see what Sarah has to say when I get home. And anyway, um, just two things to say before I get off here. Well, three things. If nobody else has told you this today, I love you. Be kind to one another. Practice, like I always, also always say, practice random acts of kindness, but don't tell anyone. And I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Love you. Lead with love. Bye. Love you.